just have, I got eight more and I got um, a bunch of them laying eggs right now. Got a lot of little broody mamas all over, chickens too. I just have two little hens that hatched two little chicks and they're dual parenting and they're very cute. They ended up coming back in the chicken coop now. So they're pretty cute. cute. It's so cool the first time that you naturally hatch your chickens. So I always like to, I always think it's cool. Oh, everyone's missing you, Doug. You need to start talking. I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, he's talking. All you little smart pants people. Now you're going to get some action. Okay. Do I like maple sugar? Yeah, make them. It tastes, it tastes great. Like tastes like maple syrup. How do I use my aloe plant? I have aloe plants everywhere. I have them in our RV. I have them in our house. I have them in the outside kitchen. It is amazing for children because a child will let you put it on any kind of boo-boo, any hurt, and because it doesn't really, it doesn't bother them and you, they can cut it and put it on their skin. It's very soothing to the skin. So any skin irritations or anything, it's great. Scrapes, burns, it's amazing. Immediately, if I burn myself, I'll run my hand under really cold water, really good, and then I immediately put the aloe vera on it right away. It's tremendous for a burn. So I have it all over the place or any kind of skin irritations I like it for. All right. <laughs> oh, they're Sweden. Okay, they're, everyone's ready for the truth, Doug. 102 gallons. You can't then... handle the truth. And I was going to be quiet, but you guys are goading me. But tonight I'm not talking. Stacy's gonna talk. No, you're not. I'm not gonna talk. interrupt it's her. It's not fun. It's okay. You can interrupt no, me. No, people bit. don't like it. And I'm sick of people complaining about it. So tonight's Stacy's live show. Not that many people. It's oh not yeah. My live show. Oh man. If you would have told me it would have been my show, I would have been prepared. Be and prepared. I would have, I'm not prepared. We're right never now. prepared. I don't even know why that's a thing with you. Well, because I, I, I would have something to it. talk about. See, he didn't tell me he was doing this. I know, because we never talk about it. We just do it. I don't even know what like I said. Hey, do you guys see all the manufactured clouds? Check it out. What a nice little manufactured cloud kind of day. It's beautiful. We had no clouds and they were so nice to bless us with some clouds. Playing God with God complexes. Figuring out who needs to die and how many people need to be on earth. Buckle up, y'all. I just saw something I should slow it down on menopause and hormones. I'm just telling you guys, if you are going through that time or perimenopause or anything, sugar is your enemy or anything that turns to sugar, a lot of carbohydrates, higher carbohydrates. I mean, load up on the veggies and the meat and the good fats, and it will tremendously help you. Hope you make the cut. <laughs> Cause you won't, you let, you don't let, see, you guys don't, under, you don't get it. Like, this is just my opinion, but I'm just here to tell you, like COVID was the litmus test. Okay. They're very nervous about what they're doing. All right. Like the Nuremberg trials, I, I, I'm putting these videos up. If you guys actually listen word for word, they already talked about it. 9-11 was a total setup. Right, I know you guys don't like to hear this stuff. I know it's, it's terrible to think. You're not gonna, you know, those those buildings don't just burn down. And they set that up so they could do the Patriot Act, okay? And the video I already posted it. The guy told you all about it <coughs> in the Patriot Act. Because they're so freaked out about the Nuremberg trials, right? And being hauled in for all this stuff. They put all these exemptions for, for like heads of government. Okay. So like, you know, back in the day it was like war stuff and this is how they're doing it now. Right? Like you guys are literally at war right now and you don't even realize it, but they actually changed some verbiage and put in some stuff in the Patriot Act that kind of covers their butt and they're hoping nobody calls them on the carpet. Now here's the deal. There would be something to think about for them to worry about. But what you're witnessing is actually a global cabal, okay? George Soros and Klaus, these are just the bad guys, right? These are just presented to you so you do have some bad guys to hate. And there's good guys, Trump, and the bad guys, Klaus, Kissinger, and all this. But really, it's the Rockefellers and the Carnegies. They're still pulling the strings, right? They're still running the Federal Reserve. 